All right, welcome everybody. Dr. Keith here. Happy Thursday evening. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me here on this Thursday evening. For me, it's late, right? Being on the East Coast now, it's eight o'clock at night. Typically, I'm winding down at that point. I definitely wanted to get as many of you as I could live tonight to, to talk to you about something that I've been using for a long time, but, but in all honesty, recently refound it, meaning just, you know, as a trader, you're always using tools, finding tools. And now with programming capabilities, and one of the things I didn't like about Hakanachi, not to jump ahead too much, was that you could never tell what the actual price was, pure price. You always had to go back and forth, back and forth. And those of you that know me really well, I like simplicity, especially when I'm trading seasonality. So I was able to get some things programmed and I got some really cool things for you to show you. And I'm looking forward to the next 30 minutes or so. I will not be long tonight, okay? Before I get started though, again, can you, if this is being recorded, can you all see my PowerPoint there that says Dr. K using Hakanashi? And can you hear me okay? Great, thanks Mike. Hope you're doing well tonight, Jim, Kim. All right, perfect. Okay, so again, today, the purpose of this webinar, 30 minutes or so probably, is to just really focus in on, on Hakanachi. So as usual, before we get started, you know, go ahead and, and read this notice. Basically what I like to tell everybody, every time I do a webinar is that you should never trade with money that you cannot afford to lose, okay? From a ethical standpoint, but more importantly, from, from a mindset, if you're putting money out there that you need to pay rent for, you're not gonna follow your rules, okay? And we've seen that. We've all probably in some time if we've traded enough that we have blown out accounts because of that. So again, very important. You can always paper trade and learn so that in the future, you know, when you when you have more money to to trade, you know, it'll be a better experience for you. All right, so again, very short agenda today. I'm, I'm gonna talk briefly about what Hakanashi is at a high level. Okay, I'm not gonna get into calculations. I'm not gonna try to put anybody to sleep tonight. And then I'm gonna have a little special offer on my launch, as you probably saw um, during the email campaign. So big picture, first of all, when I say ha or Hakanashi, okay, I, I abbreviate it as HA. You know, when you look at a, a traditional price candle, right? They can be valuable, right? Because you know the open, you know the close, you know the length of the wick, you know if you have, you know, you've all probably read the books on evening stars and, you know, all the different types of price action. And that's all very important, okay? Hakanachi, though, what it does is it, it, it averages price to create a candlestick chart that filters out market noise. So the reason I like it so much whether you trade using seasonality or not, it can be useful for you, is it doesn't, I like to think of it as those of you that are married or have a boyfriend or girlfriend, the other half that kind of keeps you grounded, you know, hey, just relax and so forth. Okay, that's Hakanashi. Instead of using the open high, low and close, like standard candlestick charts, the Hakanashi uses a modified formula based on two period averages. So again, those of you that have been around or, or might be new, if you hear averages, right, what does that tell you? It tells you that it's not going to be that crazy husband or wife. It's going to be the more laid back, just chill. Let's see what happens before we make some drastic changes in our trading, okay? So basically, it gives the chart a smoother appearance. And I, I purposely picked some charts I'm going to show you today to show you that, okay? Because the one thing... A lot of, and I know a lot of you on this on this webinar, a lot of familiar names. One thing during my mentorships with you and so forth, we've always have struggled, all of us, no matter what the experience is. What is the perfect time to get out of a trade, right? Because you know you'll 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 get a winner and then you'll get out because you don't really have a plan, right? And I teach certain plans, you know, like when you get to the top of the Bollinger Band you know, take half off and let the rest ride if you have a good seasonal play, for example. But where Hakanashi can come really come into play here is it kind of does the work for you. Kind of does the work for you. And I'm going to show you what I mean here, OK? 
Okay, so it just it spots trends and reversals, but it also kind of keeps things stabilized for you. And that's what we're going to focus on today. So what I did, I want to show you before we go to live charts here, is on the left here, okay, this, this is a Hakanachi candle in the background. Okay, you, you've got the green. So the Hakanachi is an upward candle green in this particular example. What I had programmed was actual price as well. The white line right here is the open of actual price. And then the red line is the close. Okay, so if we were looking at just a pure traditional candlestick, right, this would be the open, this would be the close. But where Hakanaji also gives you now in the background is, you know, that's a bullish signal because you still have a nice, pretty solid green candlestick there on the Hakanaji. Okay. And then I also programmed some easy to understand dots. If you're long, you could basically stay in the trade until the dot turns red. Okay, so if it's green, you wait for it to turn red. If it's red for a short play, you wait for it to turn green. And I do have some yellows in there just to confuse everybody. No, no, not to confuse you. I put yellows in there and I'll explain in live charts because I like to wait for the second Hakanachi candle, in this case, let's say green before I change trends. So yellow is, okay, we may have a potential change. We have one Hakanachi in the opposite direction, but I typically like to wait for that second. Okay, so that's kind of in conclusion what I've created here. It's pretty cool, pretty simple. You can then you can go back and look at your charts and we're gonna talk about that today. All right, so I told you I would be fast with the, with the PowerPoints today. Let me go ahead and bring over my, my live charts. Bear with me, I'm going to, Share, stop sharing screen here to share screen again. Okay, let's see, I'm looking for my handy dandy stop share. I'm going to do a new share now and I'm going to grab think or swim. Okay. Yeah, Abby. So Abby has a question. I'll get to it here, but does it work for tick or rank charts? It works on any time frame. Okay. It's just, you have to have a plan based on that time frame, right? Good question, Abby. Okay. So can everybody first of all, see my think or swim? All right, thanks, Jim. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to blow this up just a little bit. And I'm going to explain this again. Okay. And then I'll go over, oh, you can see quite a few examples quickly just to give you an idea. Okay. So again, in the background here, this is the Hakanashi candles. So when you start getting green, okay, you see how powerful. Okay, that trend was from a Hakanashi standpoint. Okay, and again, Hakanashi is doing different types of averages. Okay, again, I'm not going into calculations tonight. It doesn't really matter. Okay, but when you have those nice uptrend candles, okay, you want to stay in that trade. That's the bottom line. And then you can see the white is the actual price open on this candle, and then the red is the close. And the way you can test that is if I just change this from Hakanashi. So if you have thinkorswim, right, you can get your, you can go in here to Hakanashi and select that. Okay. I'm going to go back to candle first. And when I do that, do you see here how now the open and the close match? Because these are traditional candlesticks, right? So the open and the close. Okay. So I'm going to go back now and change this to Hakanashi. Okay, so again, you can see, I think this tells a better picture for you. So here's what happened on the spider. Okay, and again, full disclosure, I did not take this trade because it was right in the middle of who, we, the election. Okay, but it doesn't matter for this example. Okay, and I should have, by the way, not because it would have worked out, but because I shouldn't have let news get in my way of my trading. I should have went with the technicals. 
but election is one thing that can really, really move the markets and it just wasn't worth my risk. Okay. But anyways, I digress. So let me change one more thing here. Sorry, just to, just to make it a little bit easier to, to read. Okay. Nope, I don't like that. Sorry, picky picky. I did the wrong one. I meant I meant the line. Okay. Okay. So this is the Laguerre line. Okay. This is this is my favorite trigger. And then right here on 11.3, it, it goes above the 20%, the 0.2, okay, for a long play, right? And as you can see, we had the green Hakanashi candle confirming that, okay? That is about as good of a trigger as you're going to get, folks, when you have the Laguerre dip all the way down, come on out, and then you get the green Hakanashi, okay? The dots, again, are showing you then once you get in, as long as you get a keep green dots, until you get a red, you can stay in this trade. Again, the reason I wanted to show the SPY tonight was we just literally would have got out of this trade today, okay? So we, if we would have got in, you know, as you're wondering and you're watching news, you know, here's an example, you know, right here. Okay, look at this on 11.6. Actual price did nothing. It basically opened and closed at the same, right? Well, look at the Hakanashi, the green. That was still saying, oh no, we're still heading higher. Okay, that's a bullish candle right there, folks. Okay, and that's where I think it can be an advantage. So again, if I just go back for a minute and go back to regular candle, you see, this is a this looks from regular price like an indecision, right? where you may have said, okay, it's time to get out now, you know, the RSI is heading higher and this is an indecision candle, right? But when you, when you get the, the, you know, in this case, it'd be my wife, who is much more relaxed, will tell me to relax, you know, she'll be my Haikinashi, right? And she, she would have said, you know what? No, 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 stay in this trade, relax. We're going higher, you know, with high probabilities because look at that strong Haikinashi green candle. Okay, so basically I did a paint by number. So once you get into the trade, okay, you could then stay in it. See how I'm pointing down here at these dots? It's kind of doing the work for us so you don't have to analyze, okay? You could have said, well, you could have got out here. You could, if you want to get out on the yellow dot with your risk tolerance, you can. What that is, that's one change in direction Hakanashi. I don't get out until it changes to that second red, okay, in a row. So the next one was back to the to the green. So I'm still at a yellow. So I'm still in this trade. I'm still in this trade. I'm still in this trade. Oh, we got another yellow. Is it time to get out? I'm not sure yet. And then today it closed down. The Hakanachi closed down. So this is when you exit the trade. Okay. So look at how well you would have done just from a pure entry standpoint. So this is what it triggered. So the next bar is when you get in, okay? So we would have got in right here at let's say 340, okay? And then we would have gotten out at the close today right here at 350, let's say 357, okay? So no, it didn't get the top of 364, but you're gonna get roughly 80% of that move folks. And those of you have been trading for a while, you're like, holy, you know what? That's pretty cool, okay? Grabbing 80% of your move, if you can do that consistently, you're not gonna be listening to me much longer because you're gonna be at the beach. And, and that's, that's really what it comes down to, okay? Again, look at this trigger back here in September, okay? We had a long right here. So if you got in, again, just look at the dots down here. Here's when you would get out right here. You would have got out right here, okay? You're making 80% of that trade. You say, well, what if I want to take both directions with Hakanashi? Well, you got a red little gear trigger. So again, this red, I'm not going to take yet. I would still in the trade. But once you get two reds and you get the red dot, you can absolutely counter trend that if you want. Again, that's not my style. But you can stay in it now until you get a green. And again, 80% of that move pretty darn close, right? Okay. 
So my rule is Jim says, so let's say in a green dot, would you get in at the close of that day? So typically, you know, if like if you're trading the spider, okay, once the day closes, the next day is when I would get in just because that's how I trade. If you want to get in right before the close, you can. All I would suggest is be consistent, you know, because especially on the spy, you can have gaps, right, from overnight trading. Okay. But typically, you know, by rule, like everything is when the bar closes. So the next bar is when I get into that trade. Okay. Remember, I trade futures and Forex as well. So, you know, those, those only have an hour downtime and Forex doesn't have any downtime during the week. Right. So once that new bar opens, you're in, but yeah, so generally speaking, it's the next, that next bar. So in this case with the spy tomorrow morning. Okay. Now in saying that, one of my favorite trades of the year is coming up, the long play on Monday, Thanksgiving week rally, okay? So I would still get out, but then I'll be looked to re-enter on the next yellow dot. I'll get more aggressive. The next yellow dot, I'm gonna get right back in on that, okay? Just because I've got some data mining that tells me if you get in Monday and you keep the trade for a week or so, you're gonna make money every time, okay? Okay, so let me bring up some, some, exam some other examples. So I'll bring up the QQQ, but it's gonna look very similar, but, but here's how you can look. So the tech stocks, right, weren't quite as strong. So here was the trigger on the QQQ, right? And then you can see here, right here, we exited that trade, okay? But here's what I like about it, folks. you can then get right back in, okay? So as you know, in a strong trend, your oscillator, in this case, my LRSI, this may stay up here now for a week, two weeks, a month. You can just wait for that next green dot and re-enter, okay? It's a little bit more aggressive, but when you have the seasonal moves coming that we all know about, just wait for that next green dot. So if we got out on the red dot, two bars later, we can get right back in, okay? That's the beauty. It's all done for us as far as our rules, okay? All right, so let me just give a few examples that I was looking at. So Hasbro, okay? This was a nice seasonal long play. Um, my chart stuck here, just bear with me one second. All right, okay. So on Hasbro here, we have the trigger right here on 11.6, okay? So it means this bar you get in. And again, this is where it can be so useful. You see this red Hakanashi, right? That means you got a yellow dot, be cautious, right? So if we would've got a second red, I would've been out of this trade, but we didn't. We got another green and you're still in this trade. So if you took this trigger, you're still in this trade. Yes, take some profits, right? So let's say you did five contracts on an option play or something. Take some profits, absolutely, especially when you hit the top band. But now you can stay in this until you get a red dot. When will that be? You just don't know, right? What if you took this one right here on 929, okay? If you took it on 929, you wouldn't have got out until 1014, 80% of that move. It's a beautiful thing, okay? So. Again, you probably hear it in my voice. I'm super excited about this because the folks that I mentor, we have this, I get the same question all the time is when do you get out? When, you know, we know how to get into these trades with seasonality or the gear, but when do you really know when to optimize getting out? Okay, this will do it for you. This will give you 80% of that move. It'll keep you in the trade. Okay, even after a seasonal move, it can still head higher, right, or lower. And that's how it can keep you into that move. So HOG, Harley Davidson, right? Again, we had a combo long back here on 929, okay? So those of you that took it, again, when do you get out? You would've got out on this red dot on 1015 at the close, okay? Here's the beauty. Let's say you got out, you made money, right? Everybody agrees you, you made money there, okay? But you still know it's a great season long, you wanna get back in. All right, we got a yellow dot. So I'm gonna wait one more dot green, here we go. Bam, right? When you get out, right here. And then you get right back in here three bars later, 
Okay, so it allows you to do that. My favorite trades are when the Ligier is all the way down, you get the green dot, and then you just stay in the trade until you get a red dot. Those are by far, and I apologize, if you hear some noise in the background, my, my new office is being built. So I'm in, a, I'm in a traditional office and I've got a brand new two and a half months German Shepherd with my other two German Shepherds and they're playing right now. So hopefully you don't hear that too much. Okay, so that's how that works, folks. Costco, combo trade here, okay? And here's a good example where it came up, hit new highs, okay? And then it ricocheted down. So if you got out basically to break even, but you like it, you can get right back in and, and now you're doing fine, okay? One of, one of my strategies is anytime I hit a new high in a market, okay, I either close the trade or take half off and move my stop to break even because new highs in the market typically means you're going to have a, a move back down before it goes higher, okay? I am not a believer of the overall breakout. Nine out of 10 new highs are short-term highs, retracements, then they head back higher. ADP, another great example. Great seasonal moves on ADP. You can see this white line ever since September, we've been heading higher, right? So you have a, you have a trigger here, September 25th, okay? Again, look at this. You get in on, on the 28th, you exit on the 15th. Beautiful move, beautiful move. Then you're waiting for that next green dot if you wanna re-enter. Right here, you get in, you get a yellow, you get a red, you took a small loss here, but you're following your rules, right? Then two bars later, you get right back in. And are you still in this trade by the rules, folks? What do you think? So if you entered right here and you're following the rules, are you still in this trade right now? Yes, Kim, right, Jim? That's the beauty, that's the beauty, okay? You know, if you go back again, you look at regular price. It's not as easy to figure out, right? In my opinion, okay? And again, I trade both ways for years, okay? One thing I can tell you with 99% with certainty, I am, I am just going to be using Hakanashi charts now because I always know where open and close is now with my programmed indicator there, okay? And the dots make it easy. So not only current trades, but then when you want to go back test something, right? So let me show you what I mean by that. So I just created a short list here of September trades, okay? From my data mining spreadsheets that I have, okay? So what I'm looking for is back in September, any triggers, okay? Late August into September, because that's what the data mining was, was going, okay? So we got a trigger here on 10.5. You see that? This was a high probability data mining setup. Let me now expand it out for you. So we got the trigger here, okay? Beautiful. When do you exit? Right here at that red dot, okay, right here. So in this case, you didn't grab 80% because you had a couple of pretty good down days here October, okay? But you still follow the rule, you made good money, and then you could re-enter right here, okay? So you have your re-enter rules, especially on those high, high probability trades. TRV, remember, right around September, so we got our long right here, October, okay? We got in here, we got out here. So again, it tells you when to get in and out, and then you can get right back in. Okay, and that's the key. Because you're not gonna make 100% returns on every play, right? But if you can do it and make those runners, that's gonna be very, very useful. You know, again, if you got in right here, folks, okay, you just got out yesterday, okay? And yeah, it doesn't matter what time frame. So let's say you trade off the four hour. Okay, so let's say you, you know, we've been looking for longs, right? Here's a nice combo trade Wednesday right here, okay? And then you get out on the red, you can get right back in on the green. This works on all time frames. okay? My, my day trading system is off a five minute chart, Hakanashi, okay? 
I'm showing you from a swing trading daily, okay? But it works on all time frames because it's, it's doing the exact same thing just on the smaller time frame. So again, if you're trading off of a, a four hour, right? You got to adjust your risk, right? But you just don't get out until you get a four hour Hakanachi red then, right? Ah, Mike, great question. So Mike noticed then here on my seasonal, let me just blow that up for a minute, okay? What I've done is, so on my seasonal, I have added the weekly Hakanachi. So what this is telling you is the, this week, okay, we're still green. So on the weekly, right, we've been green ever since October 12th. So if you have green on the weekly and then you're taking your, your greens on the daily or the four hour, okay, you're gonna like the results. So great catch there, Mike, absolutely. Um, sometimes with a brand new seasonal though, this might be yellow or haven't switched yet and I'll still take the trade on here, but there's nothing better than when you have the weekly Hakanachi aligned with your daily, you know, your daily triggers. Absolutely, absolutely, great catch there. Okay, so let's bring up a couple more and then I'll answer any questions. I told you I'm not gonna be long today, okay? It's pretty simple stuff, but I, I, I'm super excited about it for everybody. So, okay, I'm blowing this up, okay? This is the September data mine, right? So where was the trigger? We had a trigger on the 30th right here. Okay, and what I'm trying to show you is, you, is an easy exit plan. So let me blow this one up, okay? So if you got in here, you got out right here, okay? You took a loss, okay? And then you could get right back in here, okay? Make your profits, get out at the red, and then you can re-entry. So you're not gonna struggle with when do I get in, when do I get out? If you're down 10% and you get a red Hakanachi, just get out of the trade you can always get back in, right? That's the key, that's the key. Here's an example, September. We got a nice trigger here on the 28th, okay? And again, we got a trigger on the 28th. We got our exit plan on the 14th. Okay, look at that, beautiful, beautiful move up, okay? You can see the seasonal on striker. So obviously this is another play right here in November. Again, would you still be in this trade, folks? You would, right? You'd absolutely still be in this trade. And again, you can go to a four hour, absolutely, or, or a shorter time frame, but I'm, I'll show the four hour. You can see a nice trigger here, right here, Tuesday, okay? And you would have stayed into it until right here, you would have exited, okay? So those of you that like a little bit shorter term plays, it's all there for you to give you these high probability setups, okay? Okay, so I'm just looking at questions here. Yeah, so the, the weekly HA, everything's set up the same, it's just the time frame. okay? So the, the settings aren't any different, it's using the same formula, just the standard Hakanachi, okay? I just coded the dots to make it easier for folks. Okay, the, the real power is in this Hakanachi. So again, you know, um, it's just it's easy paint by number type system as one of my mentees told me the other day. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let me go back to the slides. Okay, so what I'm offering right now for the next three or four days, um, I'm gonna give it 299. I know it's a, a really cheap deal, but I just, I want everybody to have it, okay? And so um, you, you, you would have got that in the, in the email invite, I'll, I'll put it in here as well. And then when we send the recording out to everybody, it'll also be there, okay? Again, I just really wanted to do it kind of like a holiday special, super cheap, great product that you will use and use and use and you know, with it comes that video. Um, again, if you have questions, you know, don't ever hesitate to email, email us at support at seasonaltraderpro.com. This is my personal cell phone, folks. You can call me, text me, and, and then our Facebook page, and you can even text us as well. But you know, I suggest text me at my, my, my personal number first. It'll be faster, okay? 
Oh, thanks, AJ. It does work because you know what it does is it really helps you with indecision, folks. So again, let me, oh, can you see the slide? You can't see the slides right now, can you? You can't, I gotta change it over, bear with me. I got ahead of myself. All right, so I'll do a new share. And we get back to the PowerPoint. Okay, sorry about that. So again, for the next three days or so, I'm gonna keep this special. Okay, but um, if you have questions, this is, you know, most of you have my contact information, but use it. If I'm not out riding my horses or something, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll respond to you right away. What I'll do is I'll bring out my charts one more time. If anybody wants me to look at something specifically, let me know. We'll take a look. Oh, good question. So for the 299, here's what you get. <laughs> Actually, great question. So there's no, no confusion. You basically get, in fact, I'll show you right here. Okay. You get the Dr. K Hakanashi, which is the price. The, 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 the white and the blue actual price, and then you get the dots, okay? So what you get is you get this open and close, right? And then you get these dots. That's what you get for that price, okay? So I'm glad you asked that so I can clarify. So again, what I mean by that is, remember if we go back to regular price, okay, the candle, you see the dots are aligned, right? Because this is the close on this red and this is the open. Okay, so I just had a program so that you can then keep it on Hakanashi, right? But you always know what actual price is. Like, you know, on SYK, okay, this is where it closed. It closed up today right here. And you have a, you know, a, a indecision green Hakanashi, right? That's very important to understand. Sure, I can look at the Euro US dollar. Okay, so we had a long trigger right here on 11.5, a, a combo, which is a, a really good opportunity here for you, okay? Then though, a couple days, three days later, you know, oh, right? But if you wanted to re-enter, here's your re-enter on the 16th. A lot of you will trade Forex or something too on the, the four hour, okay? So again, you had the long trigger on last Thursday. You basically stayed into the trade until Monday, and then you could re-enter that same day if you wanted to, okay? And here I can zoom in a little bit just to show you, you know, this is the four hour chart, you know? Again, it's just, it, it's really helps keep you and get you out of trades, you know, very, very fast in the four hour, keeps those trends going. This was very evident here that we were getting a Hakanashi trend change, right? You started getting these wicks, and then you had the red candle and the next candle at the latest, you're out of that trade, okay? Sure, let me go back to the daily and we'll look at gold. I'll look at the, the futures gold just so it's continuous for everybody, okay? So one of my favorite trades of the year is coming up, right? So we're just waiting, right? We don't wanna go in yet. Look at this, we got red dots, you know, there's no way we're gonna go in yet. So we're just waiting. Okay. Look at that nice gold play up here though, right? How it kept you in that trade. So um, what dots are you referring to? Bill, when I'm talking about the dots right here, do you see them? I wanna make sure everybody can see these. Okay, what these are is these are just showing you the color of the Hakanachi candle, okay? And then the yellow dots, the yellow dots is when you had a, a, a green go to a red or a red go to a green. It's just more of a caution saying, wait a minute, we may be getting a reversal, but that's why I wait. So I, if I'm in on green dot, I'm not exiting until that red, okay? Until that red, okay? Make sense? Oh, I see. So one of the questions is, well, what does, what does Hakanashi have to do with seasonality? Good question. So it doesn't have anything to do with seasonality. The reason I title my webinar like that is because I use this in conjunction with my seasonal tools. Okay. So for example, gold coming up is, is my favorite long play of the, 
this year and the next, okay? The next three months. So I'm only gonna take a trigger on the Hakanachi, okay, and the Laguerre that's gonna be green or long, okay? That doesn't mean you guys and gals have to do that, but I everything I do starts with seasonality, okay? Or if I'm looking at my 20, 40, 60 here, you know, I gotta have positive moves coming in the direction of my Hakanashi, okay? I'm not spending any time on that tonight because that's not the purpose of this, but that's why I titled it using Hakanashi and seasonality. I'm always gonna have seasonality in my webinars because that's how I trade, okay? That's how I trade, okay? All right. Does that, did I answer everybody's question? Zaza, did I answer your question? Bill, wanna make sure everyone's good there? Any questions, Jim? So great question. So, so AJ says, if you get the green dot signal, but those of you that know about my 20, 40, 60 is negative, will you enter? I'll go look for something else that matches AJ because there's no reason not to. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, Jeff, I don't manually, I, I don't manually draw the, the combo lines. That's, that's an indicator that I have. Okay. It automatically does that. Okay. Oh, the, what are these lines? These are just the Bollinger bands folks, standard Bollinger bands. So if you go to my indicator, you know, the, the edit studies, Okay, they're just Bollinger bands. Okay, I use that as part of my analysis. You know, others just use moving averages. Okay, so so really, you know, that's just something that I mean, I can I can delete these for now just as an example. Okay, the the real power is in you know the Hakanachi itself. But I I take profit certain partial profits and so forth and using Bollinger bands. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll be more than happy to show you the five minute on the ES. I had a beautiful trade, beautiful trade this afternoon on it. Let's see here. Bear with me. System is a little slow tonight for me. All right, so I'm going to go to a five minute. And I, I will be revealing my day trading here in the start of the year, promise. But anyway, so this afternoon, this is a phenomenal trade, okay? We had a trigger around, you know, one, what, 115 there, okay? And again, you stay in until you get a red dot. So I got out here, okay, then you can re-enter. And um, I, I didn't trade this over here just because the tick count wasn't in my advantage, you know, just as a day trader, I use ticks, okay? But here is a nice short play you can see right here and the ticks were, were nicely negative saying we're getting some selling pressure. So again, if you got, if you got in this trade right here, when would you have gotten out folks? That's right, right here. Beautiful, right? It helped you stay in that trade, okay? Okay. All right, let's see here. Excellent, Carrie. So Carrie says, I'm in three trades using this and not fit through perfect 50% in three days. I'd love to see that. Um, so, and I am actually working on a scan, more to come on that, where we'll be able to find reversals that are in the direction of a seasonal movement. So yes, I am working. I am brewing up some, some, some information for that as well. Great question. Okay. Yeah, the, the data mining is a, is a, is, it's a one-time buy and then you get it updated forever. So if you go to seasonaltrader.pro, you'll see my data mining products or, or send me an email and I'll send you a link to it. No worries there, okay? Data mining is, is incredible opportunities to, to find and keep your favorite trades each year, okay? Okay, well, it looks like I need your phone. Let me bring up my PowerPoints one more time. Yeah, I appreciate everybody's time tonight. I know it's, uh, everyone's real busy. All right, so I'm going to share. The 
the PowerPoint. That's my contact information right there. Okay, and this is going to be this is being recorded, and I will send out the recording to everybody as well. Okay, so if you need anything, folks, let me know. Again, this is this is exciting stuff. It's really really uh, a good return on your investment. And again, reach out if you have any questions. Other than that, um, I will be having a live webinar in a couple of weeks. Every Wednesday, you know, I do do a free webinar, so check it out on my website. When you go to seasonaltraderpro.com and you go to the bottom, you can you can sign up for it for free. And I do recordings on that. You know, or if you go to my, if you just Google Dr. Keith Wade on Facebook, you'll see my recordings for that as well. Okay, everybody. All right, folks. Well, thanks again for attending. Have a great evening. Talk to you later. Bye now.